Hi guys, it's Danny from the ScrapFX design team. Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to create your own Christmas mixed media balls using the ScrapFX rice papers and stamps. So I'm using a little bit of the ScrapFX rice papers. This is designed by Neve Bailey and it's such an awesome bright paper. I've used a selection of her papers to make six Christmas balls in total. So I've purchased some cheap plastic Christmas balls. These were just from Kmart. I've removed the little end cap and the string and I'm tearing up the little rice paper into little sections. I'm using some gel medium to glue that down. So I'm putting a layer of gel medium onto the ball directly, placing the rice paper over the top of the wet medium and then another layer of wet medium over the top. That way it adheres the rice paper completely to the ball and we'll be able to use these Christmas balls for years to come. By randomly placing this or collaging these rice paper all over, you get a very bright and cheerful looking Christmas ball just with a coverage of rice papers. Once it's completely covered, um, I place another layer of gel medium over the top just to make sure that it's completely sealed and then I've placed the end caps back onto the balls. That way I can hang these balls up and let them air dry overnight. Once they're completely dry I've got a selection of Posca pens. These are acrylic paints in pen form and I'm just making a very simple mark making all over the ball in just groups of three and five and then changing the colors out to the next Posca pen. Using a heat tool where necessary to dry the paint off so that I don't smudge that as I'm moving it around in my hand. Once I'm happy with the mark making, I've gotten a selection of archival inks out and I'm just using some colours from the background papers. I've got the collage stamp circles there, little triangles and number crunch and I'm just using different inks per stamp and stamping them randomly and partially all over the balls. Using the heat tool to dry off the ink in between again so that I don't smudge the images that I've just stamped on. Once that's completely dry I go back in with some fine Posca pens and I'm just doodling over the top of all those previous mark makings that I made with the larger markers. This just gives it a little bit more depth to the illustrations on top of the artwork that's already there. So I used three, three sheets of rice paper in total, half sheet per ball, and I was able to make six Christmas balls. So here I'm just basically going back and forth with my paint pens, making the marks, re-stamping, and also using some gold acrylic. So I've blobbed a little bit of gold acrylic onto my mat and I'm just using my finger to smudge a little bit of gold splotches all over the ball as well. So you can see that I'm working back and forth on each ball, giving each of them time to dry in between. And so I'm just going through the same process of making mark, marks with the fine markers, going back in and stamping and then smudging with a little bit of gold paint on all six balls. You can also use your heat tool to dry in between. Just be very careful not to melt your bowl when you're using the heat.
These final touches really make your balls a little bit more unique and each ball is quite different from the next. Just making sure that all that paint is dry before I move on to the next step. I'm using some fluoro Posca pens just to move some final marks over the top and give it a bit more of a pop of colour. And then I, once all these are completely dry, I've sealed them with a clear acrylic spray. I've put the end caps back onto each paint ball and then I've basically put in change the strings out and put in some reclaimed sari ribbon just to give them a really unique arty sort of feel to the balls and I've also splattered a little bit of that fluoro pink Posca pen over the top and that's it the balls are completed and they just such a lovely unique gift to give to friends or to even hang on your own Christmas tree I really hope you liked this tutorial and you give it a go and make your own Christmas balls. Please leave us a comment, I would love to see what you think. And give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you next time with another mixed media tutorial. Thanks for watching.